Hi hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use that crunch uh, to do the goodness of fit test. So the first example I'm using is this one shown here. You have a sample of 100 weights, and you have a frequency uh, for the uh, last digit from zero all the way up to nine. And you want to know whether this sample is from the population of the weights um, in which the last digit occur with the same frequency. If you have the data here of the frequency of 0 all the way up to 9 uh, in a stat crunch, what you can do is go to stat, goodness of fit, chi-square, test. So what you observed is this column of data. And what you expect is all the cells in equal proportion. Okay, so you choose this one. And then if you compute, you can get the window like this. Up here shows you here uh, a table. Big N is the total number of obs uh, observations, so 100. Degree of freedom is K minus 1, so 10 categories minus 1, which is 9. Chi-square value, or the test statistic calculated, is 212.8. And the p-value is less than 0 0.0001. Okay. So for this one, because the p-value is definitely small, so you reject the null hypothesis. In other words, this observation is clearly not coming from the distribution that uh, each one of them, each category, have the same frequency. Okay? That's number one. The other example I'm using is the homework question. Okay? So, so for the number of games played in the year best of seventh baseball championship series, and you expect... Um, the expected frequency are showing down here, okay? So for this one, using 0.05 significance level to test the claim that the actual number of games fit the distribution indicated um, by this uh, expected proportion. So if you have your data set uh, here, copy it in your stat crunch, you can from stat Goodness of fit, chi-square, which is the same as previously. You select the variable for as your observed um, value, frequency. And the expected, which you do not select this one, you select the column of variable 5. Okay? The expected proportion of your contest. And then if you click Compute, this will tell you, say, in total there are 96 um, contests. Degree of freedom is 3, which is 4 minus 1. Chi-square value, test statistic calculated, is 11.617. And if you compare that with 0.05, this p-value is smaller than 0.05. So again, you reject the null hypothesis. In other words, um, there is sufficient evidence to say that those contests is not coming from the distribution uh, you expected. Okay?